Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Our top story today at noon, a major announcement from Sarasota's Moat Marine Lab. Lab officials revealing plans to build a new aquarium at Nathan Benderson Park. ABC 7's Marla Spence is live at Nathan Benderson Park with more on this big news today. Marla? Yes, yeah, some big news, Scott. You know that aquarium would sit right here on 5.7 acres of city property at Nathan Benderson Park. It will double the size of the current aquarium to 100,000 square feet. And just a few things that people can expect will be, of course, economic impact for $28 million for the state of Florida and access to marine science and technological labs for kids in kindergarten to 12th grade within the Manatee and Sarasota counties. <coughs> that every child in this region, every child in this region, has an opportunity for hands-on STEM experiences at this facility. We will be strategically collaborating to ensure that we leave no child behind in this, and we will provide it free of charge to every school in the region. Now, there will also be on-site interactive hands-on laboratories happening at the new aquarium, as well as on-site diving classes. Now, the cost of the new aquarium will be more than $100 million, and the expected construction date, the start construction date, rather, will be in late 2019. Reporting live in Sarasota County, I'm Marla Spence for ABC7, your Suncoast News. Very exciting news from there today. Thank you. A follow-up now out of Manatee County, where a former sheriff's deputy is now facing life behind bars. Former Sergeant Gerald Lear retired from the sheriff's office and at one point supervised the Crimes Against Children unit. Prosecutors say he engaged in sexual acts with a 14-year-old girl and her 14-year-old friend. He was convicted on several sexual battery counts, possession of child pornography, and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. New at noon, according to the Manatee County Sheriff's Office website, Gary Kompothekris was arrested on Wednesday night on suspicion of driving under the influence. Kompothekris is the founder of 1-800-ASK-GARY and is the father of MTV Siesta Key star Alex Kompothekris. An update now out of the nation's capital, where tonight the clock will run out on government funding. Senate leaders on both sides have struck a major two-year budget deal. The Democrats in the House are upset there's no agreement in sight on immigration. ABC's Kenneth Moten has the latest now from Washington. Today, Congress is working to avoid a second government shutdown in less than a month. I hope we can build on this bipartisan momentum. A two-year budget deal among Senate leaders includes big boosts in defense and domestic spending, billions to fight the opioid crisis, fund child care for low-income families, and help the nation's veterans. But no funding for President Trump's southern border wall. In the House, conservatives furious the deal adds to the deficit. I'm not finished yet. And yesterday, Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi held the floor for a record-breaking eight hours for the Dreamers. Today, reiterating she's withholding support for the budget until there's a debate to resolve the fate of those young undocumented immigrants. We have our beliefs and we're willing to fight for them. And we're willing to fight for them on the floor of the House. We praise God for how truly blessed we are. This morning, President Trump at a national prayer breakfast talking God and faith. Earlier this week, he was pushing for a shutdown over immigration. Let's have a shutdown. We'll do a shutdown. But in about face, the president now supporting the budget agreement. The White House says budget deal first, immigration second. The deadline to fund the government, midnight. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. Former President George W. Bush says there is, quote, pretty clear evidence the Russians meddled in the 2016 election. While never mentioning President Trump by name, the former president appeared to be pushing back on Trump's attempts to have warmer relations with Russia, as well as his comments on immigration. President Trump has repeatedly denied any collusion with Russia. The White House is yet to comment on the former President Bush's remarks. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions in Tampa yesterday to talk about the nation's opioid epidemic. Sessions says federal investigators continue to crack down on dark net marketplaces. That's a computer network used primarily for illegal file sharing where people sometimes buy illegal drugs. The Drug Enforcement Agency is asking medical practitioners whether they have received education on prescribing or dispensing opioids when they apply for a license or a renew. Sessions also highlighted several overdose cases in Central Florida. And few families in this country are untouched by this disaster. 
Who could forget the tragic story of Katie Golden, a 17-year-old from South Tampa. She died last year after accidentally overdosing on heroin. Session says too many opioids are being prescribed in this country. The initial sign-up numbers for Obamacare are in, and they show a small downturn with a twist. Sign-ups fell 5.3 percent in the 34 states that rely entirely on the federal exchange for enrollment. But it was a different story in many of the states that either run their own exchanges or outsource enrollment to healthcare.gov. Those states saw enrollment numbers that were pretty much the same as last year's. The numbers will be finalized when consumers pay their first month's premiums. Happening today in Tallahassee, the Florida House and Senate set to approve rival versions of a new $87 billion state budget. The spending plan will cover all state spending from July to June of 2019. The House and Senate are expected to take a final vote later today and then will have to a month to work through their differences. The two chambers are not spending the same amount in key areas like public schools, state universities, and environmental programs. Florida lawmakers also working on adding more affordable housing across the state. Some city and county officials are asking the state legislature to dedicate more money for affordable housing, calling the current housing situation a crisis. The group is also asking lawmakers to not divert money from the Housing Trust Fund to balance the state budget, which has been done in previous years. Governor Rick Scott using a Suncoast business to tout state job growth. The governor met with employees of Rapid Composites yesterday. It's a Sarasota-based company on the cutting edge of technology for years. The governor says he's proud of the fact that Florida businesses have created one and a half million jobs since December of 2010. I like working with people that care about jobs. The, we just announced $35 million state investment in nine communities in our Florida Job uh, Growth Grant Fund. That's going to create more jobs in our state. Uh, my goal is month in and month out, uh, add jobs. It's very exciting for us, and uh, it was incredible. It was a great experience. Uh, I think it went really well, and uh, uh, we've been... Uh, you know, we were, we were uh, warmly received and, and uh, really enjoyed getting an opportunity to showcase our business here in Florida. Rapid Composites designs, engineers, and manufactures a variety of hardware, including advanced drone technology for law enforcement and the military. The governor is also working on a job placement partnership to help displaced Puerto Rican families find jobs in Florida. That partnership will be between education, business, and workforce development organizations. The announcement comes on the heels of a $1 million investment into Florida's workforce to help those displaced families. And FEMA is being criticized for failing to supply tens of millions of meals to Puerto Ricans after Hurricane Maria. FEMA awarded a small Atlanta-based company millions of dollars to deliver 30 million meals to Puerto Rico. But only 50,000 of those meals were passed out. Now lawmakers are calling for FEMA to be subpoenaed for any documents related to that agreement. FEMA insists no Puerto Ricans missed a meal as a result of the failed agreement with the private company. They say they relied on other suppliers as well. Let's get a check now on our weather here on the Sun Coast with meteorologist John Scalzi. And a uh, nice start to the day, I think. Yeah, yeah, you know, in a way we kind of dodged a bullet there, the I fog. guess. Yeah, yeah, most of us did anyway. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it did roll in in some locations, and there is still a uh, fog advisory up for the next uh, hour for uh, coastal regions that uh, will include a lot of Longbow Key and such. But here's the Cortez Bridge webcam, and a lot of us could have looked like this this morning. In fact, most of the morning, Cortez Bridge was just fine. And then all of a sudden, within about uh, half an hour, it went from visible to absolutely socked in, and it's still kind of cl cloudy there as well because of all the uh, fog that they've gotten. We have a lot of cloud cover coming our way today. We broke into the sunshine a little bit there for a while, but all of that cloud cover that's kind of thick to the north, that's coming this way. Can't stop it. That's a frontal boundary sinking southward. Our temperatures will probably top out in the low 80s again today if we can hit that before the... Uh, Clouds start rolling in. We're at 78 right now in Sarasota. Most locations about the same. We have some fairly uh, uniform temperatures all morning long, actually. We'll go with about a 20% chance of showers. That's really about it. This is not going to be a big weather maker, this frontal boundary. It's not going to even lower our temperatures all that much. Maybe just an isolated patch of drizzle or some light rain that moves from inland areas toward the coastline a little bit later on. We'll go hour by hour through that forecast for you in just a few minutes. Thanks.
Construction on Sarasota's controversial lift station project is getting louder, and the general contractor has a new high-tech way to keep tabs on how much noise it's creating. ABC 7's Ray Collins is here with details on that. Ray? Scott, if you drive by the site on US 41 at the 301 split near downtown Sarasota, you've seen this fenced-off construction site for the past 10 years, and now you're hearing it. Work is indeed getting louder around the city's lift station project in Lukewood Park. Neighbors have been dealing with the noise for 10 years now on and off, so contractors have installed two vibration monitors like this one on either side of the project, one in an adjacent condo complex, the other at the Senior Friendship Center. Now, the project manager says an underground sensor beneath the solar powering panel will let them know when the noise and vibration gets near a certain level. When it gets to that limit, we get a notification, or the construction team does, that we're within 80% of that level. That way we can cut off construction activities, figure out what's, uh, what's causing the higher vibrations and resolve it before it can impact the structure. It is a construction zone. There will be impacts. Uh, our job is to monitor those impacts and, and notify the residents when there is a level that exceeds what they're used to uh, or try to modify construction techniques to, to reduce the levels of vibration or noise. But right now, that noise is actually not the construction, but demolition of the previous failed attempt to build the lift station underground. The previous contractor is now off the job. Lawsuits have been filed, and the subsequent delay has caused this project to be 10 years delayed and four times the cost, now $40 million. If all goes well, it'll be complete in two years. But in the meantime, Garland says the noise will get worse the next few months before it gets better. Scott? Okay, thank you so much, Ray. The deadline is quickly approaching to sign up for the chance to renew your vows on Siesta and Venice Beaches this Valentine's Day. The pre-registration deadline is tomorrow if you're applying through the mail or Monday if you're registering online. This is always a popular event here on the Sun Coast, so to register, you can visit the address on your screen, which can also be found on our website, mysuncoast.com. Happening right now in Philadelphia, the city is holding a parade, a pretty big one too, capping off a week of celebrating the Eagles' first Super Bowl title, the first title in nearly 60 years for that city. This is a live look where organizers say there are as many as 2 million people jamming the parade route. Of course, the Eagles beat the Patriots 41-33 to in Sunday's Super Bowl. In Philly today, they have closed schools, courts, government offices, the Philadelphia Zoo, everything, so people could get out and cheer on their world champions. Pretty cool. Still to come in your Suncoast News, how the Apple Watch is helping users determine if they have diabetes. And a meal that will break the bank, why a Boston restaurant is now offering a $3,000 hamburger. All hands on deck. What's up? I want to point out three tips for using the home computer more safely. Point your way. First, stop. Make sure your software is up to date and that you've password protected your computer's login and Wi-Fi connection. Next, think before visiting a site, opening attachments, or clicking on links. Then connect, knowing you're helping make the web safer for you and for everyone. Make Stop, Think, Connect part of your daily online routine. Whee! Being the caregiver for someone you love is truly a blessing. But sometimes you can lose a part of yourself. To be your best, for them and for you, it's important to have time to be able to recharge your batteries. When you call Tidewell Hospice, they can give you a chance to do just that. And with the peace of mind of knowing your loved one is in the very best hands. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high performance parts and advice. So Matt told me to meet him at 7 a.m. sharp right here. It is now 7.01 a.m. You think Matt will leave without me? Hey, is Matt here? Uh, long con. Long con. Just missed him. Just missed him. 
All done. Mr. Sparky guarantees they're on time and the repair is free, so chop, chop. Call 888 Sparky. Matt, you started without me. I finished without you, too. <laughs> Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Nice viewer shot. Sent in yesterday from Fred Seeger, Casey Key. A lot of cloud cover in that sky, and I think that's kind of similar to where we'll be this evening. In fact, we might even see a, a, a more obscured sky, I think, later on today. Jack Waters in a beautiful shot from Sarasota, of course, of the setting sun. Again, really nice shot there, and the uh, beautiful sunset colors being reflected from the clouds again in this shot from Robert at Sarasota. Appreciate that. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot more cloud cover as we head into the evening because of a frontal boundary just to our north kind of sinking south at the present time. Right now, the sun's poking out, but that's not going to last. 78 degrees, the uh, current air temperature dew point coming in at 68. So it's a very humid air mass that is in place right now. West southwest wind coming in at 8. I'll tell you what, if we had had that wind this morning, Oh, we would have had a whole lot of fog across the coastline. It would have been an event. Uh, luckily, that didn't take place. We had kind of calm winds, and consequently, that uh, warm, moist air couldn't make it over the relatively cooler waters. It couldn't be blown in. So the, uh, the situation kind of worked out pretty well for the morning commute. We have uh, at 3 p.m. about a 20% chance of a light patchy bit of drizzle or maybe a quick passing shower. Total rainfall amounts for this event is not going to be great. Most of us will not see any rainfall, just a lot of clouds. Um, but our temperatures won't suffer much either, so that's the good thing. We could use a little bit of rain, though. Uh, 83 degrees by 375 by 7. And then this evening with an increase in our cloud cover as we head into the overnight, 69 to 65. Uh, a few scattered showers around this evening as we head into tomorrow morning. We'll look for things to kind of clear. There might be a little patchy fog right along the immediate coast tomorrow morning. But I tell you, I think we're going to develop by tomorrow morning an offshore wind flow. And again, that would help the situation by blowing sea fog away from land. So we'll see how it plays out. After that front sinks southward, losing its intensity as it does so, it's basically going to fall apart. The tail end of which is going to become a warm front. That could kick up some showers and clouds in the central Gulf, blow them back this way. And we'll be battling clouds for probably a day or two. Mix of sun and clouds. Isolated sprinkles and then a little bit more sunshine tomorrow, but not all that much. Winds might get a little breezy tonight. Watch for that. And the cloud cover as well. We'll go with a daytime high of about 81. And then as we head into the next several days, maybe a little warmer tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, we start to get a little more cloud cover as a frontal boundary moves through on Sunday and Monday. Brings us a chance of rain each of those days. Probably a better chance on Sunday and Monday than we are having today. But the front moves through and turns sunny for Valentine's Day. But we still really don't get any cooler air in here. So we stay near the 80 degree mark right straight through the seven day period. Scott. All right, John, thank you. In HealthSmart, wearable technology is changing how diseases are detected. Mobile health app Cardiogram and the University of California, San Francisco conducted a study finding the Apple Watch can detect diabetes with 85% accuracy. Macworld reports they used about 14,000 people to track the results. Heart rate sensors in the watch can pick up on any irregularities that point to specific conditions. Cardiogram has also found that hypertension, sleep apnea, and atrial fibrillation can also be detected. Plus, a new report says Tampa Bay ranks in the top 10 nationwide for severe flu cases. Tampa Bay area ranking sixth on a list by doctor's report. That report lists 14 areas in the nation where the flu has been most severe using a database of doctor reported cases over the past week. The Hillsborough County area has reported 30 outbreaks and one pediatric death in the current flu season. All right, let's get over to the kitchen now and say hello to our good friend, Chef Larry Barrett, who is here today from Simply Gourmet Catering. 
Larry, great to see you again. What are you fixing for us today? Uh, today it's the ocean cassoulet, beautiful shrimp in a Mornay sauce. It's white, it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Plus we're gonna do a little flambe, so things are gonna get a little exciting. Stay tuned. Thanks to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, what was once impossible is happening today for thousands of patients with blood cancer. I live. I live. I live. I live. I live. She lives. Because of the research done by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in the battle against blood cancer. If you had a chance to support the research that is saving lives, what would you do? All right, cool. Let's get started. Sure. Don't ignore the law. You must call 811 at least two to three days before any digging project so you can avoid hitting our essential buried utilities. For digging projects big or small, make the call to 811. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I, that no, was. No, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the... Is that bacon? You don't have to know at all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. ABC 7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. Caught on camera in Connecticut, slippery roads turned into a terrifying situation for a FedEx driver when their van spun out and slid down an icy hill. Take a look at this. You can see the truck spiraling out of control before bouncing off a trash can and eventually stopping in the opposite direction. Fortunately, police say there was uh, little to no damage and no one was hurt in that accident. A huge swath of the country is being slammed by winter weather this week from Texas to Maine, where some towns have been bracing for whiteout conditions. We all know cats have nine lives, but they usually have just 18 toes. But that's what makes Paws, a cat in Minnesota special. She has 28 toes, which ties a Guinness World Record. The polydactyl cat has three extra toes in each forepaw and then three extra on her back paws. Paws' owner says they found her on a maple syrup farm and then took Paws into the vet to get her claws trimmed. That's when they were told just how special Paws' spare toes really are. And for $3,000, patrons at a Boston restaurant can order a burger. And that comes with an engagement ring on the side. Pauly's restaurant says with 48 hours notice, the joint's big boy burger will arrive with a Neil Lane diamond ring nestled in the bun, framed with round diamonds and a 14 karat gold band. The restaurant owner says the burger is all part of a Valentine's Day special. There are no confirmed orders so far, but there are several interested customers, apparently, who may pop the question with a burger. Let's get over to the kitchen now. John is there with Chef Larry Barrett from Simply Gourmet Caterers. Guys? Well, I would guess that she wouldn't expect a proposal over a cheeseburger. No, so no. It's at least really surprising. I say go with this, the ocean uh, cassoulet with the shrimp. A cassoulet? Yes, we can make All it as a cassoulet. All right, I'll bite. What's a What's cassoulet? This? A cassoulet, nine fifty. dollars <laughs> Here we go. The cassoulet is anything that you could put in a little casserole dish. It's got to get these shrimp going a little bit. The trick with this dish, John, is you don't want to color the shrimp too much. 
I'm going to add a little bit of ground up garlic, mm. and I'm going to turn this buddy up right here, and a little garlic and a little fresh shallot. So if you don't want the shrimp to turn color, you want them on really pretty low That's heat. That's right, because look at the sauce. Mm -hmm. The sauce is a perfect white. It's one of those deals, it's like almost like monochromatic and it looks beautiful. I love it. And well, let's, let's see what's going on with this little guy. We've got to get it going. Uh, it's our stoves. That's Sorry. it. It's part of it. I'm we used apologize. to the blaster. I'm used to we the blaster. We don't have the professional kitchen. No, but that's okay. I'm we have a professional in it, though. <laughs> so, that counts. Here, a little bit of salt. I like using kosher salt. You see mm -hmm. how much is in it? And I use a little white pepper here because the white pepper, it makes it real nice. I you think there's a difference see. in flavor. The big difference in flavor. I the black so. pepper has a real spiciness to mm -hmm. it, you know? And then I always add a little cognac to this dish. Mm. Let's see if we can get it hot enough where we could do a little little flambe. Yeah, not much of a flambe, but flambe. there we go. It's a flambe. It's, it's flambeing enough. Yeah, there it is. We're not, yeah. causing, we're not causing any damage. There you go. But we'll just keep going with this. And, and the reason for the flambe is, I mean, aside from the fact that it looks really cool, right. is that it, uh, what, burns it, off it, the alcohol? It burns, burns off the alcohol. And I like the cognac in this. Now, I'm going to do what the French call, this is called the etouffee method of cooking. It cooks in its own juices. Usually it means with a cover on it, but they'll cook really fast now. And I thought that was always a Creole thing. But it, it is. It, it originated in, it, in but, France. But right? original France, that etouffee, just means smothered in its own juice, ah, and it looks beautiful. Now you know what we have to do. We have to give it a little taste and see where we're at with this. But you can see how quickly the shrimp turn mm, a beautiful pink. What do you think? Is um, it working? Uh, it's working All great. Right. Now I'm going to add a little bit of best quality. You like that? Best quality. Best quality. Parmesan cheese. Yes. You don't want to go for. I'm not going to say. But you want to stay you with something. Don't want to get nice. it out of a can or a no. bottle, huh? No, you design? don't. Or, or, a you. or a green can. You want to you <laughs> grate this yourself. This sauce is made mm. with a roux. Mm -hmm. And I like to use milk. I don't like to use cream. I find the cream um, coats the inside of your mouth and okay. prevents you from tasting stuff. I always use a bay One leaf. Always take that bay leaf out. The bay leaf is, is just not what you want to be eating. It's, it's sharp. And then we'll put it right on top of this beautiful bed of wild rice. And we'll hit it with a little bit of parsley in just a moment. And look at that. Oh, man. Oh, it's a river. It's a river of goodness. Is this one of the dishes you do at Simply Gourmet? We do. This, I usually add a little bit of scallops to it also. Mm. And um, it's really, really a nice dish. People really seem to enjoy it. I love the color of it, especially for weddings, because... It matches a wedding dress. There you go. And what do you think? It looks just beautiful, Larry. I can't there wait to go. tuck in, I have to tell you. The recipe for it is on our website, mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining button. It'll take you right there with all of Chef Larry's video instructions as mm. well. Uh, always a pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Can't wait to Thanks. tuck in. Go grab a fork. <laughs> right back. <laughs> Motor Trend said the new Alfa Romeo Giulia is hands down the best sports sedan you can buy today. And named it the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. I just had a very educational ride with Nina. Did you learn anything? Where do I begin? So all this stuff goes into a safety check. Yep. It's a long list. It's important stuff. Test the smoke detector. Yep. Check the breaker box. Yep. Meter the GFCIs. Ground fault circuit interrupters. Why do that? Call 888 Sparky. Minnie, you make it look easy. Thanks, but don't do it yourself. Who's your guy? Alex Karras Lincoln's 40th anniversary sale. Drive a brand new 2018 Lincoln MKC for $279 per month or the Lincoln MKZ for $299 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, where our mission statement is consistent commitment. Every client, every time. Located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. It's time to take a road trip. Alabama's got a hundred road trips, and some of the best are music to your ears, like the Alabama Music Hall of Fame, or head over to Muscle Shoals and Fame Studios. Are you a star yet? My mama thinks so. Or if that's your stomach I hear grumbling, our barbecue is almost a religious experience. 
Food good here? Best in the country. Alabama's got a hundred road trips. Which one you gonna take? Honda, I like it. Everyone likes the 2018 Honda Civic. For $169 a month, you made Civic a best-selling compact car in America. You'll like Civic's five-star safety ratings and the KBB.com name Civic a best buy and the most awarded car. Get the 2018 Civic at a payment you love. $169 a month today at your local Honda dealer. Honda, I like it. Oh, yeah, I like it. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. When evaluating the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Car and Driver magazine said every crossover should be this good to drive. We agree. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Coming up, another member of the White House is leaving, this time amid controversial abuse allegations. Plus, what a couple is doing to figure out who's sending them mystery packages. <clears throat> and some of the unique treats you can try at this year's Florida State Fair. You are watching ABC 7 News at 1230. Hello again. Welcome back. Our top story this half hour, another controversy at the White House, a top aide to the president leaving under a cloud, allegations of abuse. And now the question remains, who knew about them before now? ABC's Maggie Rooley has more. As staff secretary in the White House, Rob Porter was playing a prominent role in the West Wing, standing side by side the president as allegations of domestic abuse swirled around him. Now, new questions of who knew what, when. Sources tell ABC News that high-level aides knew about the accusations for months, but were not aware of the extent until Porter's two ex-wives told their story to the Daily Mail and the online publication The Intercept. When the story first broke, Chief of Staff John Kelly called Porter a man of true integrity and honor. He then issued a second statement saying he was shocked by the allegations. There was no place for domestic violence and, quote, I stand by my previous comments and believe every individual deserves the right to defend their reputation. Just three months ago, Kelly said this. You know, when I was a kid growing up, a lot of things were sacred in our country. Women were sacred and looked upon with great honor. The allegations against Porter are detailed and disturbing. His first wife, Colby Holderness, releasing a photo of her black and blue eye, saying Porter punched her in the face more than a decade ago. His second wife, Jenny Willoughby, spoke exclusively to the Washington Post. So he came and grabbed me by the shoulders here um, and, and pulled me out of the shower in a rage. Porter denies all of these claims, but resigned abruptly, saying in a statement, these outrageous allegations are simply false. I took the photos, and the reality behind them is nowhere close to what is being described. I have been transparent and truthful about these vile claims. The White House says Porter was not forced out, and his departure won't happen immediately. Right now, he's still serving as the president's staff secretary. Maggie Rooley, ABC News, New York. And Omarosa Manigault Newman did not mince words on the premiere of Celebrity Big Brother last night. The reality TV star said her co-stars want to stab her in the back, but she learned to protect herself in Washington. Omarosa saw a high-profile exit from the White House in December. Some reports indicated she was fired. Omarosa denies that she was uh, dragged out of the White House and says she resigned her post. Oprah wants to remind you she is not running for president. Refinery29 writer Ariana Davis tweeted that Oprah confirmed she's not interested in a 2020 presidential bid. Davis says Winfrey covered the topic during a live chat with Hamilton playwright Lin-Manuel Miranda. This is not the first time Oprah has had to shut down those rumors. People began speculating following Oprah's Lifetime Achievement Award acceptance speech at the Golden Globe Awards last month. Vice President Mike Spence spoke in Japan where he reiterated America's call for North Korea to get rid of its nuclear program. Vice President Pence was with his wife at the 
Yoko, Yokota Air Base, where he spoke to the troops about the country's future. He says there's no way to avoid the harsh sanctions the U.S. has imposed so far and that it will not end until the regime stands down. We will continue to intensify this maximum pressure campaign on North Korea until it abandons its nuclear and ballistic missile programs once and for all. The vice president also said the U.S. will defeat any attack, whether it be from conventional or nuclear weapons. The opening ceremony of South Korea's Winter Olympic Games now just a day away, and North Korea wants some attention as well. North Korea holding its annual military parade early this morning. The message from Pyongyang to the world is defiance. They will not halt their nuclear program. The parade was not shown live on North Korean television. Instead, an edited version was broadcast. We're hearing new details out of Taiwan as rescuers continue to look for survivors after a deadly earthquake yesterday. The search continues there through the rubble following a devastating 6.4 magnitude quake which struck near the country's east coast. The quake caused several buildings to cave in and tilt. At least six people were killed and more than 70 others remain missing. An update out of South Carolina where one of the Amtrak passengers injured in Sunday's Amtrak CSX collision has now filed a $75,000 lawsuit against CSX. James Damon filed that personal injury lawsuit for the collision that killed two Amtrak employees. Damon blames CSX, the owner and operator of the rail lines, for the improperly padlocked rail switch, which directed the Amtrak train from its southbound path and onto into a parked CSX freight train. In addition to the two deaths, 116 people were treated for injuries ranging from scrapes and cuts to broken bones. The NTSB is investigating this crash. Happening today, get ready for funnel cakes and spinning rides. It's the opening day of the Florida State Fair. Governor Rick Scott and Attorney General Pam Bondi are at the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa to kick off the festivities. The gates will be open until 9.30 tonight. Along with all the, the rides, there's live music, the largest traveling giant wheel, a ninja show, BMX freestyle madness, and much more. But the main attraction is the unique fried food combinations every year. <clears throat> and new this year is the Southern Fried Catfish Sunday. Mm -hmm. And the fried chicken and waffle pizza with mozzarella, bacon, and syrup. <laughs> the Florida State Fair runs through February 19th. <clears throat> wow. Here on the Sun Coast, how about Opa? Here we go. It's that time of year again. The four-day festival celebrating the traditional Greek way of life kicking off today. It's the 34th annual Greek Lendi Festival. And along with all the traditional Greek food, there will be live music, dancing, a kid's zone, crafts, church tours, and more. This all happens at St. Barbara Greek Orthodox Church on North Lockwood Ridge Road, just north of University Parkway. And it will run through Sunday evening. <music> been out there for that event in the past, John. Yeah, always fun. Always a good time. time. Great food. And, oh, yeah. you know, if you do go to that event, allow yourself a little extra time to take the tour <laughs> of uh, St. Barbara's Church. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is amazing. Yeah. The, uh, the intricate uh, uh, mosaics that are in that mm -hmm. church are just absolutely gorgeous. Byzantine in nature. Just really stunning. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's worth a look. Definitely. Definitely is. Uh, some pretty nice weather out there, I guess. A little bit on the cloudy side, a little on the foggy side in some <coughs> places right along the coast. But we showed you earlier the fog kind of just socking in parts of uh, uh, Longbow Key, Upper Longbow Key, Anna Maria Island, Cortez. But, you know, take a look at the Lakewood Ranch webcam. We started off the morning without a uh, any fog whatsoever and uh, that's the way it's going to end up as well. Uh, we were not looking at radiational fog today. We were looking at a different type of fog, sea fog caused by winds blowing over the relatively cooler Gulf waters still. Uh, now we have a lot of cloud cover out there and that cloud cover sinking south due to a frontal boundary also sinking south. That it's a cold front, yes, but it is a pretty weak one and its main effect I think for us will be a few scattered showers and some uh, cloud cover. Not much in the way of cooler air. We're looking at 78 degrees to 80 degrees in most every place right now. We'll probably top it out at around 83 and tonight just not going to be all that much cooler as the front kind of basically falls apart sinking south. We'll go with a, about a 69 by midnight or so with just a mix of clear skies and more cloud than anything else. Scott? John, thank you. Happening in Florida, a case involving the deadly hazing of a Florida A&M University band member is back in the spotlight. 
The lawyer for Dante Martin, convicted in the death of 26-year-old Robert Champion, says state law on hazing is vague and should not be applied in the case, saying it makes an exception for athletic events or other similar competitions. Champion was a marching band drum major at FAMU who died after bandmates beat him in a hazing ritual. The University of Central Florida is suspending a fraternity after her mother said her son was forced to chug a bottle of vodka during a pledging event. She said he was dropped as a pledge after he got sick. Beta Theta Pi was banned from Penn State University after a pledge there died at a fraternity party last year. The national organization says it is now working with UCF to investigate this latest case. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office needs your help identifying the person who broke into a Sarasota gas station last month. Take a look at these photos. Detectives say the person broke into the BP gas station on South Tamiami Trail in Sarasota back on January 17th around 2.30 in the morning. Investigators say they stole the station's cash register and ATM. Anyone with information should contact Sarasota County Crime Stoppers at 366-TIPS. Bradenton police say they've arrested eight people as a result of a long-term investigation into the sale of illegal narcotics. Officers served multiple search warrants yesterday. Along with the arrest, police seized more than nine pounds of synthetic marijuana, as well as marijuana and cocaine. A new private study claims the Venice roundabout is already nearing capacity. The two-lane Jacaranda roundabout was built in 2011. Since then, the number of drivers using it has gone up as the area grows. The Florida Department of Transportation says the maximum amount of daily drivers should be 45,000. And the roundabout is currently at 41,000. That's according to a study paid for by Venice Regional Hospital. So much depends on when you take the data, both time of year and time of day and weather. I mean, you think about it, there are all sorts of problems. Sarasota County officials say they are now reviewing that study. We know health care costs are a big concern in our community, but how often do you think about the cost of health care for your pet? Some pet owners are paying thousands of dollars out of pocket for life-saving treatments like chemotherapy, emergency surgeries, or treatment for non-curable illnesses. Could pet insurance help you save money in the long run? Well, coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick is investigating how much pet insurance could cost you and whether or not it's worth it financially in the long run. I do have cases come in where a dog could undergo treatment that could potentially be life-saving. We can never make guarantees. Um, and people end up going for humane euthanasia because it's either they pay for that procedure, which might work, or they keep the roof on their house. Tune in tonight at 6 to see a comparison of some of the cheapest pet insurance companies on the Sun Coast and hear why veterinarians what they have to say about these different plans. A Massachusetts couple has received numerous unwanted items from Amazon, and they're not ordering them, but they just keep coming. As Jorge Quiroga reports, the mysterious deliveries appear to be part of a scam. So our first package came uh, in October. When the first mysterious box from Amazon arrived on Kelly and Mike Gallivan's porch, it was kind of funny. And I opened it up and I said, what did you buy this stuff for? Stuff neither had ordered, but the deliveries continued and it started feeling creepy. We didn't order it. We don't want it. Wanted or not, the Gallivans have received over 50 random electronic gizmos through Amazon Prime. This is one of the... Um, this is one of the hand warmer phone charger things. All from China, bought with gift cards, no return address, no invoice, and no apparent credit card fraud. What then concerned me is that my name and address is floating around in this business environment that, is, uh, that, that commonly illegal things are done. Another phone charger, hand warmer. A little sleuthing revealed some manufacturers are boosting their profile on Amazon by sending people like Mike free stuff then posting fake reviews under their names. Giving themselves five-star glowing reviews, not only of the product, but of the, uh, the company as well. Deceiving real customers. The practice is called brushing. That seems to be how the scam works. The Gallivans have asked Amazon to get them off this dubious mailing list. No luck. Amazon seems to be good at delivering things, but they're not good at stopping things. Well, with no resolution, those gadgets just keep on coming. Amazon says they were able to trace the barcodes back to a mystery seller using gift cards, but they just can't stop those packages from being delivered. 
Still to come in your Suncoast News, the GOP tax cuts are going into effect. Why you may see a bump in your next paycheck when we come back. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. It's Greek time! February 8th through the 11th at the 34th annual St. Barbara Greek Festival. Bring your family and friends. Treat yourself to authentic Greek home cooking and pastries. Plus, dance to traditional Greek music. Visit a marketplace filled with crafts and jewelry from local artisans. Children will enjoy the kids' zone and everyone will have a good time. Bring your appetites and spend a day in Greece without leaving the area. The Greek Festival at St. Barbara Greek Orthodox Church just north of University Parkway where Lockwood and Talevast Roads meet. Yasu! Accolades are great. Just wait until you see our prices. Rugs as Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. Now your ABC 7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. You have some very cold air aloft, and when airplanes fly through that cold air, their, their warm, moist exhaust cools and condenses and creates these clouds called contrails. And uh, Lynn Shepard sent in a series of these pictures of the contrails in today's sky and uh, really fantastic pictures. You know, you can look at these from above the clouds and look down toward the earth and you can see another kind of contrail, only it's not caused by an airplane. This is shot by a NASA satellite looking over the Pacific Ocean. These are called track clouds. They form in quite a similar fashion, but they're actually caused by ships at sea. And they were used extensively in the early days of satellites to track the vessels out in the uh, Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. And um, the kind of cool shot there. We are looking at some quiet conditions currently. 78 degrees the air temperature, dew point coming in at 68. Plenty of sunshine mixed with fair weather clouds right now. Clouds will be building as we progress through the day and we'll, we'll factor in about a 20% chance that a few of those clouds could produce a brief shower, uh, maybe even a little patchy drizzle. 83 degrees will go with by about 3 o'clock. Really depends on the amount of cloud cover. My confidence in that figure is not that high. If we cloud up faster, we'll probably not get to 80 degrees. 75 degrees by, um, by 7 p.m. And then as we head into the evening hours, we're back into the 60s tomorrow morning. Could be a little patchy fog around. It's not out of the question. We have a frontal boundary sinking southward across the region right now. High pressure building in back behind it. But it doesn't really get a chance to build in dramatically because this front is going to stick now the tail end of that front will lift back north as a warm front and that's one of the reasons some of the computer models are suggesting that we might get a little bit of a shower tomorrow as well. I'm not sure about that. I'm not buying into that yet. I'll need a more computer runs before we actually focus in on that. Bob Harrigan at 5 will have looked at some of those new afternoon runs and he'll give you an update on that. More clouds around today. An isolated sprinkler shower possible. More sun around tomorrow. Forecast for beach and boating calls for a little bit of a breezy condition during the evening hours as that front begins to move through. We'll look for about a 20% chance of a shower today or for the next several days. We'll see. 81 our daytime high today. Tomorrow perhaps a little bit warmer with more sunshine. And then on Saturday we cloud up again with a chance of rain showers on Sunday going into Monday. 
and then we'll kind of taper off those rain chances just a little bit as we head into Valentine's Day. Should be pretty nice actually. Nighttime temperatures in the 70s and uh, apparently sunny skies all day long. Scott? Spring. All right. Thank you so much, John. In consumer news, your paycheck may go up this month thanks to the new tax law. Mary Maloney explains how much more money you could get in Consumer Watch. As the IRS implements the new tax plan, you could see a bump in your paycheck. The Congressional Budget Office estimates employers will likely withhold between 10 and 15 billion dollars less from workers every month, meaning more money for you. Payroll service ADP crunched the numbers. Let's say you're a single filer getting paid twice a month, taking one withholding allowance, contributing 5% to a 401k, making $57,000 a year. You could see $60 more in each check. If you make about $162,000 a year, expect to see about $190 more. Let's look at married workers who file jointly, put 5% in a 401k, get paid every two weeks, but take two allowances. The joint filer making $61,000 could see an extra 40 bucks a pay period. Remember, your take home pay depends on much more than just your salary and allowances. State and local taxes, as well as health deductions, may also impact your pay and could eat up any potential extra cash. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. Still to come in your Suncoast News, what a new drone from China could mean for the future of travel and technology. My name is Stefan Campagna, we're Ben Gates and Dramus, and here is your Law Tip of the Week. If you've been injured in a car accident, the state of Florida only gives you a specific amount of time to file a claim. So act now, give us a call. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. It's a modern comedic take on a mid-century political drama. I'm Stephanie Roberts. Oslo Rep is here to preview Rhinoceros. A Suncoast resident creates her own feature film, and from a concept on paper to the red carpet premiere, we'll learn all about the process. Plus, a world-renowned Tampa Bay landscape photographer shows us his work, and Popey gets us ready for the Greek Glenby Festival. Today at 4 on Suncoast View. So Matt told me to meet him at 7 a.m. sharp right here. It is now 7.01 a.m. You think Matt would leave without me? Hey, is Matt here? Uh, long con. Long con. Just missed him. Just missed him. All done. Mr. Sparky guarantees they're on time and the repair is free, so chop, chop. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Matt, you started without me. I finished without you, too. To be able to just get my son here and not think about how we will pay for it, it just takes so much weight off of my family. St. Jude allowed me to focus on being a mom to Bryce. And sometimes I'm just in awe of the impact St. Jude has, not only on this community, but the world. part of the U.S. Paralympic rugby team. In my game, movement is everything. I get frustrated when my move is blocked, especially when that guy has no right to be there, even just for a minute. I love a challenge, but I don't like to play this game every day. A message from the United Spinal Association. My life motto is keep moving. And as hard as it was when my husband passed away, I knew I had to keep doing what I love. Oops, coming. But I needed help, help with my insurance, and that's what the NAIC provides. They have resources to help you and your family make the best decision, and they'll help you to keep moving forward, just like me. 
ABC7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. In entertainment news, if you're looking for nothing but a good time at a concert this summer, two classic rock bands are hoping to give you just that. 80s rockers, Poison and uh, Cheap Trick are hoping fans will have come out to jam their summer concert trek. They'll hit the road for several weeks. The Good Time Tour will kick off May 18th in Irvine, California. And unfortunately, the closest they'll come to us is Atlanta. Well, a wide-ranging interview by producer Quincy Jones is getting a lot of attention for some outrageous claims. He tells Vulture.com he dated Ivanka Trump 12 years ago, which would have been around the time he was 72 years old and she would have been about 24. He also says Michael Jackson, who he worked with, of course, on Thriller, stole a lot of music from others, and he claims that the Beatles were the worst musicians in the world. Well, they sold quite a few records last I checked. Finally, this hour in the Far East, look at this, John, you'll like this, a new invention out of China. This is the world's first passenger drone, taking someone for a spin. The passenger is not the pilot, though. This is all controlled by an automated system. The company says it can carry a single person weighing up to 220 pounds for around 20 minutes. After that, good luck. Find a place to land. Now that's pretty cool. I think that's what's coming. That's pretty yeah. cool. Hard to build a drone that strong. Yep. Have a great day. We'll see you again at 5. Northland Outdoors is about so much more than the biggest fish or the hottest hunting spots. All across the Northland, there are amazing people with incredible stories to tell. We're going to find those stories and share them with everyone. Join us each and every week as we explore the Northland and experience some of the most exciting outdoor adventures in the country right here in our own backyard. This is Northland Outdoors. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help with Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place.